for the former Maryland State Police Superintendent, C. Thomas E. Hutchins, for the British physician and naturalist, C. Thomas Hutchins. Thomas Hutchins was an American military engineer, cartographer, geographer and surveyor. In 1781, Hutchins was named geographer of the United States. He is the only person to hold that post. In 1766, he started working for the British Army as an engineer. That year, Hutchins joined George Crogan, Deputy Indian Agent, and Captain Henry Gordon, Chief Engineer in the Western Department of North America, on an expedition down the Ohio River, to survey territory acquired by the 1763 Treaty of Paris. Hutchins worked in the Midwestern Territories on land, and river surveys for several years until he was transferred to the Southern Department of North America in 1772. He spent about five years working on survey projects in the western part of Florida. During this time he also occasionally traveled north, often to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His advancements in the fields of topography and geography led him to be elected a member of the American Philosophical Society in the spring of 1772. In 1774, he participated in a survey of the Mississippi River from Manchac to the Yazoo River. This was a mapping expedition led by George Gould, with Dr. John Lorimer and Captain Thomas Davy, captain of HMS Sloop Diligence. Also long on part of the expedition, was Major Alexander Dixon, commander of the 16th Regiment in West Florida. Much of the data used by Hutchins, in preparing his 1784 book, Historical, Narrative and Topographical Description of Louisiana and West Florida came from his experiences on this expedition. Despite his years of service with the British Army, he sympathized with the American cause during the American Revolution. One journal of these events, written in his handwriting in three different versions, was likely meant for the plan biography that was never finished. It indicates that Hutchins accompanied his old 60th Royal American Regiment for a brief time during the invasion of Georgia in December 1778. Similar to other anonymous journals attributed to Hutchins, he describes the countryside, while serving beside a fellow New Jersey acquaintance Lute, Colonel Mark Prevost, brother of the General Augustine Prevost. Captain Hutchins apparently accompanied his regiment just days before the Battle of Briar Creek which was fought on March 3, 1779 in Georgia. He may have served in one of his previous capacities with the Prevost during the French and Indians were as a recorder and observer of the battle. Hutchins, although not directly in the fighting himself, witnessed and recorded cruelties that may have cemented his anti-war stance toward hostilities against the Americans. Hutchins' veteran observations recorded some of the most vivid descriptions of the battle as the Light Infantry Regiment, led by the infamous Captain James Bloody Bed of the 71st Fraser Highlanders started bayoneting Georgia Continentals after their surrender. Hutchins' descriptions of the 71st Highlander seem to give hint of what may have been commonly held prejudices held by British regular officers serving alongside Scottish regiments. Some days after the event, Hutchins likely sailed for Great Britain from Savannah, Georgia, to print cartography materials of frontier America. Sometime during the preceding weeks, a secret investigation of the activities of Hutchins was apparently set in motion. An agent had discovered that Hutchins had been using a secret mailing address and sending coded dispatches. Some mention of Hutchins' activities and letters were made by Thomas Diggs in letters exchanged with Benjamin Franklin. It is not clear if this was espionage or his continued attention to land speculation activities he was involved in back in America. Since Captain Hutchins was considered one of Britain's leading authorities on the western frontier lands, this left him in the unusual position of being an important consultant about lucrative future Native American land acquisitions. Some American and British leaders were involved in these activities so, when news of his investigation surfaced, many recognized this as a potentially scandalous affair. 
some such individuals were the Prevost family members who all but represented the heart of the command for the 60th Regiment. One such connection was in the messy affair of the George Krogan lands of western Pennsylvania. The potential may have been viewed as serious enough to have the American 60th Regiment moved from the States to Jamaica by the end of 1779. Likely suspecting his investigation, Hutchins tried to sell his captaincy in the regiment. Hutchins resigned from his position in 1780. He was arrested, charged with treason, and imprisoned in a mostly secretive set of events. In 1780, he escaped to France and contacted Benjamin Franklin in the United States with a request to join the American army. In December of 1780, Hutchins sailed to Charleston, South Carolina. Very little is known of his service with the Americans during the remainder of the war. Hutchins is believed to be the only British regular officer to have switched to the American side during the war.